Let me ask you a question. I want you to really, really think about this, okay? Because this is a really tough question to answer. I know very few people watch ESPN anymore, but for the sake of this argument, let's pretend that you're still a regular viewer of ESPN. Let's say you watch Around the Horn, PTI, Sports Center, Monday Night Football. Take your pick. And while watching any one of those shows, at any point, do you ever sit there and count the race of the people that are on the show? Does that cross your mind at any point? The Saints played on Monday Night Football last night, so I spent four, maybe five hours watching ESPN. That is the most that I've watched ESPN consecutively in one sitting in a very long time. In five hours, 300 minutes, not one time did I ask myself, why are there white people on this broadcast? How come there aren't enough Mexicans on ESPN? Why don't they have a non-binary NFL analyst? These questions never come to my mind. Now, granted, I don't view things through the lens of race. In other words, I'm normal. I can't say the same thing about Howard Bryant. Howard Bryant, he finds himself identifying with the 8% of the country that call themselves woke. The rest of us call them assholes. In case you don't know who the hell Howard Bryant is, I didn't before a couple of hours ago, I'll give you a brief biography. Howard Bryant is a journalist, which means he's full of shit. He's worked at ESPN since 2007. You know, he's one of those oppressed minorities working at ESPN. Oh, they have it so tough at ESPN. Where else can someone without a hint of intelligence go and make six, seven figures a year? to contribute nothing. Katie Nolan, Michelle Beadle, Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith is not the smartest dude in the world, but at least he serves a purpose. ESPN has given away millions of dollars the last few years hiring people who have no business working there, all in the name of being woke, complying. Jimmy Patero, ESPN's president, he has ruined this network because he doesn't have the balls to stand up to the bullshit. Howard Bryant, who works at ESPN now, that's important to remember. Howard Bryant was watching Monday Night Football last night. And while he was watching, the following words of wisdom entered his mind, and he decided that he was going to share it with all of us. Quote, white woman host, white ex-player, black ex-player, black ex-player, white male journalist, Meanwhile, live look in at the black male journalist, end quote. He then tweeted a picture of some white dude staring into a camera behind what looks like a bedpost. I don't know. I didn't understand what the picture meant or how it pertained to what Howard Bryant was trying to say. But I don't expect clarity and intelligence when it's coming from someone with the brain capacity of a lamppost. Howard Bryant spent his time counting the races of the people on Monday Night Football. Who in the hell thinks like that? There is so much wrong with this assertion, I don't even know where to begin. Number one, you can accuse ESPN of a lot of things. Lack of diversity is not one of them. There are more black people featured on ESPN than on BET. The highest paid employee at ESPN, Stephen A. Smith, now, I haven't seen a picture of Stephen A. in a few days, but unless something drastically changed in the last 48 to 72 hours, I'm pretty sure Stephen A. Smith is African American. Not only is he the highest paid employee, he has the most power. He kicked Max Kellerman off woke take. Now, was that racism? Was that exclusion? Is woke take lacking diversity now because it's a show full of black athletes and analysts, along with Tim Tebow, the token white guy? No, it's none of those things. Max Kellerman sucked. ESPN's a private company. They can feature whoever the hell they want on television. If they want to allow Stephen A. Smith to run the network, go ahead. It's not working. Ratings for woke take have drastically declined. But if they want to let Stephen A. Smith run ESPN into the ground, that's their right. Number two, Howard Bryant insinuates that black male journalists are excluded at ESPN even though Howard Bryant is a black male journalist, even though Stephen A. Smith, black male journalist, Mike Wilbon, black male journalist. 
He insinuates that the only way a black male can make it at ESPN is to be a former athlete. Hmm. What about Bamani Jones? ESPN tied a rocket to his back, tried to shoot him to the stars. They wanted Bamani Jones to be the face of the network. The problem was no one else wanted to see his face or hear his voice. They gave Bamani Jones chance after chance after chance. It's not ESPN's fault that he can't connect with the audience. And speaking of chances, ESPN gave Howard Bryant a second chance. Back in 2011, he was arrested for beating on his wife in front of their six-year-old daughter, I believe. Of course, this wasn't Howard Bryant's fault, though. No, 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 no. You know how this story goes. The cops were racially profiling. He's a victim. Now, normally, when you hear racial profiling, you think of cops pulling over a minority for driving a Mercedes or a Rolls Royce, DWB, or a black man driving through an affluent white neighborhood. That's what you would normally think. But that's not the case with Howard Bryant. He was arrested outside of a pizza restaurant. Apparently, he was either yelling or beating on his wife so badly that people inside the place called the cops. So you tell me, how is that racial profiling? Because I don't have a clue. But guys like Howard Bryant, business of taking personal responsibility, anytime they do something wrong and have to face the consequences, it's because they're being targeted because of their race. Howard Bryant took it a step further. He claimed that if he were white in this same situation when his wife had happened, nobody would even notice. Let me tell you what would have happened if he were white. ESPN would have immediately fired him. Woke Twitter, cancel him. He would never work in sports media again. Now, did any of that happen to Howard Bryant? Of course not. Here we are, 10 years later, he's still collecting checks from ESPN. All the while, blasting them for their lack of diversity. I'll take it a step further. If a white ESPN employee tweeted out the exact same thing as Howard Bryant, he would have been suspended on the spot, possibly even fired. I am so tired of the fake outrage, the fake claims of racism. I don't ever hear wokers complain that white people are not featured on BET. If you watch Fox News, most of their female anchors are white and blonde. Why? Is that racist? No, it's what the Fox News audience wants to see. It's called catering to your audience. People who watch my channel like to see someone blast SJWs. If you're an emotional male, you're probably not going to like my content. You may even be offended, which I hope you are. It's to the point now where people like Howard Bryant only do this for attention, and they constantly adjust the standards to fit their current narrative. I say this all the time, but this is why you never deal with people like this. You don't allow them to infect your organization. Now, it's too late for ESPN. There is not a lab in the world that can develop a vaccine to eliminate the woke at ESPN. They are far too entrenched. ESPN's ruined. Do you remember, though, when they said ESPN didn't feature enough minorities? ESPN made an adjustment. Then they complained that they don't feature enough women. ESPN adjusted. Then it was they don't feature enough black women. ESPN adjusted. Then the complaint was ESPN isn't LGBT friendly enough. They give Bruce Jenner the Courage Award. Then it was ESPN doesn't do enough to end racism. So what do they do? The network becomes a propaganda machine. And now the complaint is that they don't feature enough black male journalists. Where does it end? Where does it end? What is the next complaint going to be? ESPN doesn't feature enough non-binary, cisgender, questioning, trans German shepherds. We need a good analyst for the Westminster Dog Show. I'm glad they continue with this stupidity, though, because it continues to turn more and more people away. People are tired of fake racism. That word has no meaning anymore. It's like yelling fire in a volcano. Anyway, give me your thoughts on Howard Bryant. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. See you guys tomorrow.